Hi, this is Ted Manolaitis with Free Politica. This is The Dose. America was once an economic powerhouse, a nation like no other. People in America had good economic security. We built most of the stuff that we consume in this country here in America. Our manufacturing was strong. People had jobs, good paying jobs, and now all of a sudden we're taking a back seat to countries like China and Korea and other Asian nations and we're slipping economically, slipping fast economically. What is the solution to stop this decline in America? The solution in my opinion is to bring manufacturing and economic assets back to America and start producing the things that Americans consume here in America and importing as little as we can just enough to do business and focusing on on, on our country not you know focusing on exporting stuff around the world but focus on our country and our people our people deserve economic security they deserve jobs that pay well they deserve to have a job with health benefits and other benefits and that's not going to happen on happen on the content on, on the uh, path that this country is taking right now. And uh, the reason this country has ended up like this is because big multinational corporations decided to sell America out and American laws let that happen and so they sold us out so they could make more money at a cheaper price of production. But do we want to be a country of minimum wage workers or do we want, want to be a country that has a good standard of living, a standard of living like our uh, forefathers had? Or do we want to just have a McJob economy? We can't survive with a McJob economy. A lot of politicians today, especially those in the, uh, in the uh, race for the GOP nomination, are talking about jobs. Some of them think that having a minimum wage job is just fine. Well, no one should have to work three jobs just to pay their mortgage or just to scratch by. And that's what's going to happen with a minimum wage job economy. America needs to pass laws that encourage investment here at home. America needs to pass laws that discourage big companies and business interests and even small businesses from exporting our jobs and exporting our resources. Because... If we don't do something along those lines, this country will end up a third world nation. And, you know, it's a shame to see such a great country that had so much going for it for so long suddenly slide because we're selling ourselves out because there's a lot of greedy people in business and there's a lot of uh, uh, greedy people in politics and, you know, they want to ship our jobs elsewhere so they can fatten their bottom line, they're not thinking about Americans. America used to have pride. American workers had pride in making the products that they made. You know, a lot of the stuff you get from China is just junk. It doesn't last, it doesn't have any lasting qualities, it's poor quality made stuff, and we're exporting this stuff in this country by the billions of tons every damn day. Something's wrong. We should have jobs here. We should have manufacturing here. We should have a self-contained economy. An economy that supports, you know, that supports Americans. An economy where Americans go work American jobs and produce American goods for Americans to consume. And until we get back to a place in our politics and our government and in our business where that happens, we're going to be having a lot of problems here like we are now. I mean, you know, it's just a shame. Someone goes out to get a job and, you know, someone wants to pay them 7 8 $9 an hour, just a few dollars above minimum wage. How are you going to put three kids to school? How are you going to buy a house? How are you going to buy a car when you have a job like that? You're not going to do it, you know, and yet then you have billionaires and trillionaires with gobs of money and you have these Republicans in Congress saying, oh, it's so bad to 
increase taxes on these people, but these people have the fruits of labor. They have the fruits of their, their wealth comes from the fruits of everybody else's labor. They should pay higher taxes. And uh, that's just plain and simple. And, you know, the law of the land should encourage American investment in American businesses that do not engage in exporting jobs and exporting resources that we have. Well, anyway, that's the dose. Thank you. Please feel free to leave comments in our uh, discussion forums, by the way, on the website if you have any. Good night.